Hey guys, it's me, Neon Jacket, bringing you another forest guide. Now, today I am going to be showing you how to get the tennis racket, and I am sorry, but I am not going to do it on normal or hard. I can't remember exactly when, just because there are quite a bit of mobs in there that I, quite frankly, do not have enough time to deal with. Although, yes, I, I understand why you wanted me to deal with them, but I am sorry. It's it's not too much, it's just too much for it right this second. Now, um, there are, cause, I mean, there are, as soon as you get in the cave, not like right as soon as you, you know, phase from outside inside, but like, you'll go down a, you won't actually, no, you'll come to a rope, and at the bottom of that rope, there are three cannibals, an RMZ, and then a few more guys that you'd have to fight later on. And I'm not here to show you how to fight against mobs, I'm here to show you how to get items. So, my apologies for not doing exactly what you wanted and how you wanted it. But I have some things I need to do and get done today. So, my apologies. Now, I am starting on the land bridge on the northwest part of the island. Um, the pit's just there, and it's also the same cave that we went and found the compound bow in. It's just in a different side. Now, for you guys, if you're doing it on, like, survival, what I suggest you bring along is make a bow, or, well, yeah, you're gonna make a bow, make a bow, have a whole bunch of arrows, um, get katana just for really good, or whatever weapon you prefer. Um, I just prefer katana. I don't have it right now, but I mean, you know, th grab a katana, that's helpful. Um, maybe some explosives, things like that, and molotovs, and then you're going to need the climbing axe, which is just over that way, it's near there. I have a video on it, I will link it in the description if you guys need to find um, the katana as well as the climbing axe, I have guides for both of those, so I will link those in the description. And we're just going to go right to the cave. So from the land bridge, we're just going to look towards the mountain, and we're going to run into the woods. It's just behind these trees. It's as soon as, like, you know, it goes from open into the forest, it's right there. So let's waste no more time. Let's go ahead and slide through here. Now, like I said um, a few seconds ago, as soon as you get in here, you're just going to go down. You're going to pass all these hanging bodies, and you will reach a rope on the cliff. You do not want to go down if you're on survival, because there will be an armsy, as well as a handful of cannibals. So we're just going to jump on down, um, and we're just going to go through, and we're going to get right to this wall. After you clear this room, you're going to break down this wall. Slide on through to the other side. Alright, now from here, we're going to look left, and we're going to walk all the way over here. We're not going to go down any rope this time. Last time to get the compound bow, we went down there and went down like five or six other ropes. But we're just going to go from this rope. We're going to look, and you'll see a hanging skull, and then a skull on the ground. Now, there's apparently the leg, arm. It's a body part of the robot that your son has next to this skull. And then to the left of that skull, we're going to look at this, and we're just going to go down here. Now, um, there were the three cannibals, and then the orange up there, like I said several times. Now, down here, I don't believe... No, alright, so once you're down here, you're pretty much clear. There might be one or two cannibals right in this area. But this is where you're going to need the climbing axe. You're just going to attach. You can also, if you don't have the climbing axe, you're able to use your way down. But I really, really suggest you have the climbing axe. Because if you just try and, you know, jump your way down, it's going to be a very long and tedious task of getting all the way up. So once you get down here, you're going to attach to this wall. And then you're just going to go all the way down here. Now, once down here, it's just going to be a big open area. We're going from this wall, looking at it. We're going to take a left, 
and go down this way. Now, there will be a Virginia in here. Nothing too bad, nothing like, you know, too hard to deal with. The main issue and struggle, I think, is with the first handful of uh, Armsy and then the Cannibals. That's the worst part, is just up here. But after that, you're pretty much golden. So, um, good luck with all that. And right in between these two poor souls, um, there is your racket. And then, I believe one of them has the pedometer, I think. Or did they move that? I know the pedometer used to be down here. I believe. I mean... I am pretty positive the pedometer is down here. Um. Yeah, I mean, should be down here unless I already grabbed it. Cause I know I did loot a few things. Did I grab the pedometer? No. But now you have the tennis racket. So congratulations. Invite some friends over. Go play ball. Have fun with it. I'm not sure what your use of a tennis racket would be, but uh, yeah, <laughs> unless you want to make snowshoes. If you're making snowshoes, have fun. By the way, this is the longer way out. You're gonna have to go all the way down here. And then here's. Wait, isn't... Oh, wait. Oh, it is. Oh, that's... That's kind of scary. I don't... I'm not... Yeah. This is a... This is where the compound, though, is. Um, just back here. <laughs> yep, you go through here, and then... Basically, you have the compound boat, but we don't have a breather, so... Uh, we're not gonna get that. Plus, I've already made a video on how to get the compound boat. So, yeah. Go get the compound boat, guys. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's magical. All of that stuff. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been giving recently. I know I've, I've gained quite a bit of subscribers recently, and it makes me very happy. If you guys have any other suggestions on videos or anything of the sort, Please do comment. I love hearing and replying and talking to all you guys in the comments. So do comment. It makes my day a million times better. Um, if you guys... I've been thinking about... Because I do enjoy making guides. So if you guys would like, I'd easily be able to do like achievement guides. And do things like that. So if you guys want me to do that, if you have any specific achievements you guys want to see or anything like that, please do comment that below, um, and we can actually get that going if you guys want to. So if you do want to see stuff like that, do leave a like and then comment down below exactly what you want to see. And that will be it. Thank you guys for watching once again, and remember, shine bright, neon bright. Bye!